Hi guys and welcome to a video I do every single year nearing the end of FIFA 15. This is my recap of the best defenders, the best, well this one's the best defenders, the best midfielders, the best wingers, the best strikers, etc, etc on the game. So if you guys have got some loose coins, you've never used these players so far and uh, you need to try them out because these are, basically it wasn't in my top 10, but it's actually a full team, a full set of uh, bench and a reserves as well. But if you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out g2a.com, they Link is down below in the description. Use discount code B87 to get a bit of a discount off. If you're trying to hit up with 6,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And subscribe if you are not subscribed already. But in the comment section below, guys, I also want to know your favourite defenders of FIFA 15. These are my personal favourites. They may not be your personal favourites, but these are my personal favourites. Now, the first one... He's obviously going to be uh, a newer. He is a ridiculously fast defender. That is going to be a trend across all of these defenders. A lot of them are fast. I think I think all of them are fast, actually, thinking about it. But newer has been a standout player for my team, mainly for hybrid purposes as well. A lot of these defenders are in here mainly for the purpose of um, me building hybrids, etc., etc., and uh, getting used to them. As you can see, 28 games played on this account, but on other accounts, he has played a lot more. Now, you got to remember, guys, this account's an, um, a shared one, so some of the players I've used on other accounts, but on this they may have played only a few games but I have played a lot with them. The next one is Kyle Walker. This guy is ridiculous. I hate to play against him. I hate to, well I love to play with him but I hate playing against him but a very standout player. I can imagine he is in everyone's top 10 of best defenders of FIFA 15. The next one is David Luiz. There is a Team of the Year version, there is an informed version, some other versions I think um, but this one is definitely one of the best. I have no idea why it's only got one game played as I have played like in the region around 40 to 50 games uh, with this card and it's just the pace. The pace, the strength, and he's a player which can play in the uh, midfield position as well, as I have come up against him a, long a lot of times and failed every time to get past him. The next one is uh, Rudiger. He is a non-rare silver in the Bundesliga. A lot of people don't like to go near silvers. I like to go near silvers. Really enjoy using Rudiger. A very rare player as well. Well, he was a rare player at the start of price ranges, but I think he's actually quite uh, a lot of him now. So if you guys are looking to build a silver team, definitely recommend putting him in. The next one is Inform Rod Fanny. I love a bit of Rod Fanny. You guys love a bit of Rod Fanny as well. Um, I use him in most of my silver squads, and uh, he's a very fast 81 pace defender with uh, very strong physical attributes and defending as well. The next one is Kurt Zuma, BPL centre-back. He is definitely the standout um, BPL centre-back silver. Really enjoy using him. Um, picked him up for around 5k near the start of FIFA as well well and uh, I'll, I'll always put him in my silver BPL teams. The next one is second informed Danilo. This guy is ridiculous. Like even though he's transferred to Madrid now I do enjoy his Madrid card but this card is awesome. Four star skills four star, uh, three star, no four star weak foot three star skill moves and also part of the uh, Vidal club. The next one is uh, informed Opara, the uh, USA very extinct guy, 87 pace can see this guy being uh, a bit of a hit currently mainly with the MLS going on. The next one is Varane. I love putting him in defence for hybrid purposes. Don't like going near, near going Pepe, uh, sorry, going near Pepe, but I prefer using him. Uh, Varane's a cheap alternative to the likes of Pepe and also Sergio Ramos. The next one is Team of Season Willems, mainly for the hybrid purpose of linking him up, getting that perfect link uh, with our man Depay, and uh, Depay, and uh, he fits the bill very well. Four star skills, four star weak foot as well. The next one is Jordi Alba. He is fucking rapid. Hate playing against him, but love playing with him. Really, really good uh, attacking and defending as well. The next one, now we do have some legends in here, guys, so I do play on Xbox. We've got two, uh, I think we've got two or three legends, and Desai, 82 pace defender, he is a pit bull. Really enjoy using him. Uh, 143 games played, as well as uh, the amount of goals and uh, red cards and stuff you can see there. Um, but yeah, he's one of the best defenders on the game for my country mile. The next one is Maldini, usually paired up with Desai as well. Enjoy using them both together. Similar pace and uh, similar attributes, but Maldini is a lot taller and also feels a lot stronger as well. The next one is Team of the Year, Thiago Silva, mainly because of that pace, mainly because of the physical and defending. He's a very, very fun uh, defender to use and pretty cheap now compared to that one mil. I think he's in 250k mark, which is uh, pretty ridiculous for that card. The other one is your upgraded Koscielny. He is... He was dirty anyway. Koscielny was a dirty card before he got his Jan January upgrade. He got it, and uh, now he's become one of my favourites, mainly for the French link and BPL link also. The next one is second in form, Aurier, our team in the tournament, Aurier, which was released quite early on. Used him recently in a squad builder. Really enjoyed using him. He was ripping people to bits, and uh, people couldn't get past him, and that's why I enjoyed using him. The next one is uh, Jerome Boateng. Not his team of season card, because uh, this card, even though it's only got six games played, this card 
as has been one of my go-to defenders, mainly because of the pace, defending and physical. That seems to be the uh, common thing in this video. Now we have Zabaleta. Now, a lot of, not a lot of people will choose Zabaleta as one of their favourite defenders, but after using him a couple of weeks ago, uh, in one of my squad builders, he is definitely going to be up there. People struggle to get past him, people uh, struggle to deal with him, and that's what I find uh, uh, decent in my right back and left backs. We also have a Barty in there. He was mainly used for um, uh, hybrid purposes early on with Serie A teams, uh, but he is good. 92 pace, 80 physical, and then Alaba as well, 86 pace. Dreamed of getting a CDM card of this uh, of this guy, but never happened. And uh, he's very he was very expensive near the start of FIFA. Um, pick him up for around 15k now. And uh, we have Roberto Carlos in there as well. Um, enjoy him, but don't, he doesn't do as much as the others. But I do enjoy Roberto Carlos just as that uh, legend left back. Hopefully, FIFA do introduce more legend uh, wing backs for the next FIFA. We also have Team of the Year Sergio Ramos as well. No one's going to mess with this guy. Trying to defend against him is ridiculous. Trying to. Um, get past him with super fast strikers you're going to struggle as well because he's got high defending high uh, physical and high pace as well and then we've got the normal Chiellini even though team of the season Chiellini is good we've got normal Chiellini uh, just because he's uh, really really good like if you played against him you'll know how good he is and uh, then back to newer. so that is the uh, best defenders of FIFA 15 in my eyes guys I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have a like rate we very much appreciate it but let me know um if any of these players do make it into your top, how many players is there? Bench reserves, yeah, there's loads. I can't even bother counting this early in the morning. But you guys will know. So in down below, guys, I want you guys to leave your top 10 defenders of FIFA 15. Hopefully, pace is a factor when it comes to defenders next FIFA. Um, but we'll have to wait and find out when it happens. So guys, smash six files and like, subscribe if you're not. We'll be back another day, another video with uh, similar ones, maybe goalkeepers, maybe central midfielders, wingers, etc. Uh, but we have about six videos to go, and uh, then at the end of it, I will show you my best 11 bench and reserves uh, of the whole of FIFA 15. So leave a like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll be back in a, uh, back later on with another video for you guys to enjoy.